welcome to M Squared TechCast, a love show offering the latest news and interviews with the people driving business, technology, and politics in Michigan. Now, your hosts, Matt Rausch and Mike Brennan. Well, here today, he's still on vacation. He'll be back next week on the 15th. Uh, but so uh, we're kind of excited about that. Uh, uh, and uh, we have with us an old friend of ours, uh, a long time, excuse me, I shouldn't say old, I always get in trouble with that, a long time friend of mine, no problem, Lisa Mike. Valley Smith. Age discrimination, not an issue. That's it, yes. So uh, she's the president of Airfoil Group, formerly known as Airfoil PR, but you just keep expanding and growing and adding new stuff. And let's talk a little bit about Airfoil sure, Group. Sure, sure. Well, I'd like to start out by saying congratulations on your new venture. Thank you. It's amazing. Uh, you've been doing wonderful things for our industry and the business and tech community in, in Michigan for a long time. And we're really pleased to see you expanding and diversifying and it's a, it's a great outlet for companies such as mine and my clients. So I'm CEO and founder of Airfoil Group. We are a marketing communications consultancy that specializes in work for technology businesses. And we were born of the dot-com in 2000, and here we are 19 years later, um, still working with leading-edge technology businesses here and across the country. So... A year ago, we started a new agency, a sister agency to Airfoil, uh, Airfoil Digital, that specializes in digital marketing. So these would be user uh, experience design kinds of things, um, content marketing, lead generation, SEO, SMO, uh, digital ad buying, those kinds of things. So... On the communication side of Airfoil, which is our legacy business that right. we launched with, mm -hmm. that's what I would call more awareness building, brand awareness building kinds of services, public relations, traditional marketing communications. And now with the digital piece, we can convert brand awareness into actual sales conversion. So it's it's really been exciting. And yeah, we're just continue to diversify and, and grow with our industry, which has changed tremendously. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, over the past 20 years, I mean, uh, you, you started off as one of Microsoft's big uh, partners regionally, and uh, you've kind of grown from there. Talk about some of your major clients. Sure, sure. So um, people who have known Airfoil uh, knew that we that we launched with a very small piece of work for Microsoft Corporation in um, the Great Lakes region. Mm -hmm. And over the course of 14 years of consecutive business with them, we worked in most areas of their enterprise product group. Um, so we learned a lot about software sales marketing. Um, I like to say that a lot of our marketing communications best practices were informed by Microsoft. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we work for many different kinds of companies now. Um, one of our uh, largest accounts is Bosch in North America. Mm -hmm. So we represent Bosch, and we're working with them to position them for the future of global mobility, which is all about software sensors and services. Mm -hmm. um, also in the automotive manufacturing space is Forcia, mm -hmm. um, which is based in Paris. We launched Forcia in North America in 2004, I believe. Wow. And they are an innovator in interior systems, mm -hmm. um, very leading edge design kinds of things. Um, a lot of our work, though, is for early stage developing businesses, those who may just have their initial seed round or are just coming to market. And I like to say that if you are if you're a, a business um, that is looking to launch a product, a service, or a brand, uh, Airfoil is a good turn-to partner for you. So in that area, we've um, recently signed on uh, three fairly early stage clients, two in the artificial intelligence uh, space, and uh, then one in Torrance, California, that makes an interesting um, power technology for automotive manufacturing. Um, so it's, it's a real diverse range of clients. It's something new and interesting every day, and I'm just 
thrilled to be able to work with leading edge innovators um, for so many years. Yeah, absolutely. And you just added nine new clients, I know, because the press release just went out last week. So let's talk about some of those clients and how they illustrate the diversity of the client base that you have. Sure, sure. So one of those is headquartered right here in Michigan. It's called the Mars Agency. Mm -hmm. Um, It is a well-established, very known advertising agency that has traditionally been in the shopper marketing space. So if you go into a grocery store and the merchandising of those kinds of things, they really own that category. Hmm. And they have recently debuted uh, a piece of AI-enabled technology that will really revolutionize that whole shopper marketing experience Mm -hmm. um, and processes for marketers. Um, It's called Marilyn, uh, and it's named after Marilyn Barnett, who founded the Mars Agency. Ah. Um, And so it's, it's, it's a really exciting and promising uh, piece of technology. Um, We also are expanding into the healthcare space. Mm -hmm. So um, we've worked with a number of healthcare technology companies over the years. I don't know if you remember Care Tech Solutions back in the day, Jim Giordano, he's probably been on your show Mm -hmm. in any event. We helped launch Care Tech and I've done some stuff in the EMR space and EHR space, EHR. Um, but we've recently signed on with Memorial Healthcare, uh-huh. which is based in Owasso in the greater Lansing market. And this is just a very interesting regional healthcare system um, that is really moving into some specialty spaces in orthopedics and neurology. Um, and they are really wanting to position as a brand of innovation in the healthcare industry. So they have brought us on. Um, we are going to do a rebrand for them. We are going to help them reposition um, as a healthcare system. Uh, so that's that's a very exciting one as well. Okay. Any other other ones that you want to talk about? Well, our first client from Guam. Um, uh, it's called GTA. They're the largest uh, telecommunications provider um, in Guam. Hmm. And we are working with them to help create awareness of their new technologies, which are um, designed to enable, you know, the future of telecommunications across the world. So that that's really that's really an interesting one. Um, and then uh, let's see. I have my trusty press release here. Uh-huh. Um, Peloton, which is not. The bike okay, company. Okay, I was going to say I've heard of them. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's a great brand name, but um, Peloton is based in Silicon Valley. Mm-hmm. They have a very interesting um, technology that enables commercial trucks to draft off of one another. Hmm. Um, and so uh, the future of this is quite incredible in that you could be driving your 18-wheeler and hook up with another Peloton-enabled um, 18-wheeler, mm-hmm. um, and there could be multiple of these um, large vehicles just drafting off of one another where the one in the front is basically the doing tractor, all the driving. Right, yeah. um, so it's kind of in the autonomous driving the space. Army, Army calls it platooning. This is called platooning, yes. exactly. Um, and so this is a very promising technology. There's obviously a lot of work that needs to be done from a policy standpoint to enable this kind of thing to happen. But um, we've been working with them for a couple years now. A really great company. Yeah, there's a critical shortage of long-haul truckers right now. Uh, I know. 100,000 down or more, I guess. Uh, and uh, that's what kind of keeps the wheels of commerce moving, you know, all, that, all those trucks. It's true. It's something that a lot of people don't consider. Um, but this will enable... Uh, critical um, savings in terms of fuel, um, safety, you know, those those kinds sure. of things. Okay. Let's talk. I know, gosh, you've uh, had several different locations. You started out in the old Penobscot building with a <laughs> core of six people. And then I think you went to Southfield after that. We actually, so we were back in the day in the, I think it was called, uh, uh, Startup Detroit. Oh, yeah, yeah, It was a plug-and-play incubator when those were kind of a thing. And we were there for, gosh, a year. And then we went to the 1001 Woodward Building, which is now 
uh, a Gilbert property. Um, and looks, down in Gilbertville, then. Down yeah. in Gilbertville, yeah. looks very different. And mm-hmm. we were there for just a couple years, mm-hmm. uh, and then we moved to Southfield. Mm-hmm. We were in the Southfield Town Center for I think eleven years. Was it that long? Yes, it, it was. A, it was a long time. It was. It was a great location, but um, this space opened up uh, right at eleven in North Main Street mm-hmm. in Royal Oak, and it's you know the benefits of. You know, have, we have a youthful workforce, mm-hmm. a very creative workforce, and um, it's just wonderful to be in a downtown walkable community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a nice building. I've been in there several times, and you're up to 30 or so employees. We have about 30 full-time employees okay. now. Yes. yes. We'll come of long ways, right? Yes, yes, so, yes. Well, the industry has has changed tremendously mm-hmm. in 20 years, and so, um, you know, we, we have to move with the industry, everything's moving toward digital, as you know. Mm-hmm. And um, so we are in year two of a three-year strategic plan. We're um, uh, actually looking at uh, a potential acquisition down the line Ooh. for further diversification. And uh, we do have two job openings that I would be happy to promote. If Go you right ahead. Yes, you have three more minutes to do so. So It probably won't take that long, okay, but... We are hiring for a social media specialist mm-hmm. um, as well as an art director. Ooh. Um, and these job openings can be found on airfoilgroup.com. So if there are any aspiring creative communicator types mm-hmm. uh, that are looking to, to join a really interesting firm that works with incredibly interesting clients, go to airfoilgroup.com. And that was a totally unbiased uh, testimonial there, right? For my from, own from self. From the president of the For company. my own self, yes, Mike. Yes, yes, right, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, I assume those are online, airfoil, you said? You yes. Airfoil.com, is there a career site there? There is. There's a careers page okay. on our website that you can go to. Yeah. And this mysterious acquisition, can you at least give us an idea without naming names, just sort of the general area or? Or is that not looking for synergies in our core business mm-hmm. of uh, public relations in the short term? A firm that has um, uh, shared similar experience in technology mm-hmm. in a in, in in a market that's outside of Detroit. Yeah. Well, speaking so of which, a long list of those, but you, I, I've lost track. But I know you have a lot of offices scattered about. But I don't. You still have one in Silicon Valley, right? Yeah, we have a presence in, in Silicon Valley, and that's actually one of the areas that we are taking a look at from oh. the standpoint of an acquisition. Um, okay. Of course, you can't be in technology without having a great presence there, and um, mm-hmm. have found over the years we had our first office there in 2003. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably going to be. We're probably best served as well as our clients to buy versus build there. Mm-hmm. We do have a small office in New York mm-hmm. um, where we have a senior writer, mm-hmm. and uh, we've been there since June of 2014. Okay. And so uh, the office here again is at eleven and uh, and Main Street and, and over we're on by el- the Imagine Theater. Yes, we're on Eleven Mile as well. It's what a mile and a half away or something, right? Exactly. And so and very convenient. Uh, so anything else you want to share? we got a minute left. Anything else you'd like to share that we didn't talk about? Well, I was really um, th- thrilled and excited by your first guest on the show today yes. and from KLA. How incredible that that company is going to be hiring 600 people here. Yep. That is just amazing. And I think, you know, Michigan is really beginning to be on the map as a technology sector. We've had... Uh, two unicorns here now between Duo Security and yep. StockX, and yep. that's just amazing. I think, I think the country and the world is really st- starting to take us very seriously from the standpoint of technology innovation. We're going to have to leave it at that. That's Lisa Valley Smith, the group president. Uh, Lisa Valley Smith from the Airfoil Group, who is the president of the group. <laughs> Get that, say that fast three times. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Always you're a welcome. pleasure to be here. Thank you, Lisa. And uh, we'll be right back with some more guests. And uh, here we are on our first video show. Matt is on vacation. He'll be back next week. But you got me on M Squared TechCast. Traditional four-year students love Lawrence Technological University's thriving campus life. But LTU has always met non-traditional students' needs, too. Lawrence Tech offers over 100 degree and certificate programs that can get adult students started or back on track. And most of our classes are conveniently offered evenings at our beautiful Southfield campus or online. 
so you can balance your social, family, and work life, even while you power up your career. Lawrence Tech, where blue devils dare.